battle-ready prayer. Praises be to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Holy One of Israel, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I give you thanks and praise for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace. I give thanks for a mind to pray, a heart to seek your face, and authority to bring my members into subjection. I thank you for this moment and the opportunity that each day brings. I know that each day is special and I am empowered with unlimited potential. There are no ceilings on my life, obstacles that cannot be overcome, or barriers that can stand in my way. In fact, this is the greatest day of my life and I am free to exercise all of the gifts and talents you have blessed me with. My hopes and dreams can manifest today and I approach this moment with great expectation for miracles, breakthrough, and deliverance. I stand before you, Lord, naked, offering no excuses or justifications for my shortcomings and weaknesses. I come, Lord, seeking your standard and not those of men. I pray that you will forgive me my sins, known and unknown. Forgive every thought, deed, action, motive, or intent of my heart that is not lined up with your word, your will, or your calling and purpose for my life. Please forgive secret faults and uproot any seed of discontent that has been planted in my life. Forgive me, Lord, if I have held back the tide, and give me a heart to restore every person that I have wronged. Just as you forgive me, I forgive those that have wronged me, and I let go of any art, bitterness, or ill will that I have held in my heart. I will not allow sin and bitterness to cut off the flow of blessings into my life. I repent right now in the name of Jesus, and I receive the power of the blood to cleanse me from all iniquity. I come before you, Lord, with a heart that is after your own and a mind that has stayed on you. I thank you, Lord, for saving me from myself and the consequences of sin. I surrender, Lord, and give you total and complete reign over my life. I willingly submit to you in thanksgiving and praise. I thank you, Lord, for the relationship and fellowship that you have allowed me to share with you. I thank you for every moment, prayer, word, and opportunity to gain revelation and understanding concerning you. Forgive me for the times I have taken you for granted or moments where I've allowed my focus and discipline to slip. I choose you, Lord, and all of your benefits and denounce all ties and fellowship with the world. I have no place in the world and denounce everything that it offers. You have given me a choice, Lord, and I choose to be in covenant with you. I have crossed the line of no return and I will not look back. Each day I am getting more and more like you and growing further and further from this world. My reality in Christ is more real than what my natural eyes behold and I know that you are not a million miles away. You are right here with me every step of the way. I will have confidence in you, Lord, concerning every situation I face, every decision I make, and every temptation in my path. Give me an ear, Lord, to hear your instruction, eyes that will not be deceived, and a heart that will remain faithful. My life has been built on the foundation that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. You died on the cross for my sins and your blood was shed for me. I exercise total faith and confidence in my belief that death was powerless to hold you in the grave and that you rose again and resurrected every dead thing. I receive your resurrection power and declare that there is no dead thing in my life. I speak life in all things pertaining to me. Even now, Lord, I pray that you will breathe life into my relationships, my home, my dreams, my career, and my calling and purpose. Let there be no cracks in my foundation and restore every bone that has been broken. I pray, Lord, that dead branches be pruned for me and my harvest bear much fruit. I offer no resistance and pray that all ungodly distractions be pruned for me, whether they are people, unhealthy relationships, environments, dead situations, ungodly influences, or anything that is not expedient for me. I distance myself right now.